Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Christopher Krauss, your learning and development specialist. Welcome to our remote wellness webinar. Uh, this webinar's uh, topic is workstation stretching. And I'm going to introduce our guest speaker in just a second. But first, as always, housekeeping. Looks like everybody's got their microphones on mute and their video disabled. Thank you all very much for that. Uh, just a reminder, we are recording this session so that it can be available for uh, to those that were not able to attend today, uh, you'll always be able to find our weekly webinars uh, on Empower. And uh, if you need the link for that, you can just go to any of those learning and development newsletters that comes out every Monday. Actually, today's or Mondays came out today because Monday is a holiday for us. Uh, you can always scroll down, click the link and review all of the videos that we've done in the past. Uh, we will have some Q&A time at the end of the presentation, so if you have any questions, uh, hold on to them until the end. And as always, we have the post session survey. You'll see the QR code that will come up on the screen. Just use your camera and uh, on your phone and complete the survey. We always like to hear your feedback and we'd love to hear uh, some ideas that you have for future topics. So with that, I want to introduce our guest speaker for today. Uh, we've got Joe DiMatis back from uh, United Healthcare. He's our health coach, and he's going to talk to us today about stretching at your workstation. Well, welcome back, Joe. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I decided to go with the camera on for the intro just so you guys can see me. I know it's it's been many months since I've been on site, but for those of you that are new, you know, it'd be good to put a name to a face. Um, yeah, as Chris said, hello and welcome to Stretching at Your Workstation, brought to you by United Healthcare and Be Well. Uh, my name is Joe D. Matisse. I am the health coach serving Embraer. Been with the account now for for three plus years, and it's always uh, it's always a good opportunity to come and speak to you guys and promote health and wellness and the incentives. And you know, I'm hoping you know, as always, you guys are able to take some things from the presentation. So I'm going to disable my camera just for the purpose of the presentation. All right, and let's dive in. So during this presentation, we're going to highlight the importance of stretching, explore techniques that could be done at work without having to leave your seat or workstation. And if, and if those of you that attended before, I believe it may have been my second presentation, we did another stretching presentation that was interactive, very similar to this. So some of the information you know may be repetitive, but you know repetition is the mother of all learning. We're going to learn the to identify the benefits of stretching. We're going to review the link between poor circulation and sitting for prolonged periods of time. We're going to learn proper techniques of stretching, and we're going to review stretching exercises. So let's start with some facts. According to the American Diabetes Association, the average American sits more than seven hours a day. Think about that, not just, not just at work, but driving too. A Wellcoa report found that stretching at the work, workplace may reduce sprains and strains of the lower back, shoulders, and knees, and even take uh, stress off the eyes. Stretching may also reduce workplace stress and improve productivity. Who wouldn't want to increase productivity, right? And per the American Council on Exercise, studies have shown that regularly performing static stretching, and that's where you, you stretch and you hold just to the point of tension, for those of you that may not remember from last time, may help decrease stiffness, reduce pain levels, especially in individuals with chronic or low back pain, and may even reduce the frequency and severity of muscle cramps. So here's some facts about sitting. The human body is designed to move However, the majority of our day, you know, we spend sitting down, whether that's time spent, you know, riding or driving to work, working at our desk, having lunch, going back home, sitting through traffic, or even if we're just relaxing, you know, watching TV, you know, whether that's comfort or not, you know, sitting is still, you know, for long periods of time, not healthy for our body. High blood pressure can increase due to sitting for prolonged periods of time, which in turn, you know, could damage, you know, your, your arteries. And as we sit, you know, circulation is going to slow down and our blood remains in our feet and legs, you know, and this is obviously going to lead to reduced blood flow. You may experience tingling or numbness, common due to decrease of nutrients and oxygen from, from improper blood flow. 
Stretching can help avoid this. So let's get into some of the benefits of stretching. So why is stretching good for us? Stretching is an important practice to add to your daily routine, as we've said you know, many times before. It's got many benefits, not just for your body, but also for your mind. Stretching may reduce fatigue, stress, it can increase energy, it can increase blood supply, but overall it allows your muscles to feel healthier, stronger, more flexible, well circulated, which helps, helps protect our mobility and independence. And less muscle tension is going to improve your posture and balance in the long run. Some more benefits of stretching. So we have flexibility. Stretching may keep the muscles flexible, long and lean. And as you stretch and you move your muscles, helping you become more flexible. Over time, this is going to result to an improved flexibility. And better flexibility reduces your risk of injury. It improves posture, mobility, range of motion. And regular stretching, you know, you can improve your flexibility at any age. A lot of people think that, you know, as you as you get older, you know, that you can't increase flexibility. You, you can to an extent, you know, the more you do it, the better off you're going to make, you're going to maintain and, and, and hold on to those benefits. Increased blood flow and circulation is another one. Stretching is going to help improve blood flow, circulation. When we sit for long periods of time, you know, whether that's in the desk, the car, airplane, you know, our muscles become tight. So once we go to move, it can be hard to extend our legs or straighten our knees out. But with regular stretching, you know, we allow that transportation of oxygen and blood throughout the body. And then a third one to go along with flexibility and increased blood flow is decreased stress. You know, as we all know, stress creates physical and mental stiffness and tension. And stretching may prevent and lessen the lengthening of muscles to relieve tension. You know, it provides our body with a mental break, which is much needed in any profession. And when combined with mindful breathing, it may help, you know, alleviate any anxiety or depression. And then improved health, according to the American Council on Exercise, you know, regular stretching may help reduce blood pressure, heart rate, breathing rate, counteracting the body's physiological responses to stress and muscular tension. So we already know that prolonged sitting is going to cause muscle tension and pain, but many of our professions, you know, just due to the nature of the work, it doesn't allow us to stand up and stretch constantly, which is why we can stretch while we're at our workstation without having to stand up, you know, but there are some precautions that need to be taken. You know, remember stretching should always be done slow without bouncing. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to pull a muscle because remember when you're sitting and you're tight and you're tense, you get up and start moving really fast right away or make sudden awkward movements, you know, you can strain something. Make sure that you're stretching correctly in order to prevent injury. We always want to hold a stretch for about 10 to 30 seconds, always to the point where we're feeling tension, but never pain. You know, and as you hold the stretch, eventually that tension should diminish. And if it doesn't ease off into a more comfortable stretch, if the tension increases or becomes painful, you know, there's a chance that we could be overstretching. So, you know, you always want to listen to your body while you're stretching. Don't exceed your natural range of motion. And if the pain continues, you know, there could be possible, you know, muscle damage to the tissue. So, you know, we recommend stopping and talking to your doctor. It could be a chance you have a slight, you know, slight pull or something. And if you're injured and have a tense muscle or a chronic condition, you know, don't overwork it. You may just need to adjust the way that you're stretching. Performing balance stretching means evenly stretching muscles on both sides of your body. So you don't just want to do, you know, a stretch on the right side. If that right side is feeling tense, you want to make sure that you're doing it on both sides. So you want to have equal flexibility on both sides and don't forget to breathe. You know, all never hold your breath while you stretch. And the key is to being relaxed and concentrated, you know, in that area. All right, so how to stretch properly. So stretching should be done. Whoop, there we go. Sorry, lost my notes. All right, stretching is a great way to take a break from your hectic day. It can always help us recharge, strengthen our mind. Stretching, you know, we don't need a lot of time to stretch. It could be done in as little as five minutes. With just a few minutes, stretching your upper and lower body can help you feeling better. So let's, do, let's dive into some stretches now. 
because I said this would be interactive. So these can be done while you're sitting down or you're standing up. And remember not to overwork if you have tense muscles. So we're going to focus on major muscle tendons in your neck, shoulders, upper and lower back, hips and legs. So let's start by taking a few deep breaths in. So I want you to breathe in through your nose for a count of three and then exhale for a count of three. Let's repeat that two more times. Breathe in and breathe out and once more. Now separate and tighten your fingers until tension of a stretch is felt. Let's hold the stretch and if you can see the, the illustration there, we're gonna hold the stretch for just a few seconds just for the purpose of, of the presentation, just so we're not wasting a lot of time. Once you relax and bend your fingers at the knuckles and then hold for another few seconds. Repeat first outward stretch once more. And remember, we're doing these with both hands, but if you just want to do one, that's fine too. So now we're going to stretch our necks. This is one of those areas that, you know, sitting for long periods of time, you know, we have, you know, tight traps, our shoulder muscles, which in tent, you know, can cause, you know, a tight neck. So let's start with your head in a comfortable aligned position. Slowly tilt your head to the left side to stretch the muscles on that side of your neck. And let's hold the stretch for just a few seconds. Feel a good even stretch, but don't overstretch. And then let's turn it to the other side. Tilt your head to the right side or left side, whichever one you chose first. And hold that. You should feel a nice stretch right on the opposite side. So if you're tilting your head to the right, you should feel a stretch on the left side. So from an aligned sitting position, turn your chin toward your left shoulder to create a stretch on the right side of your neck and hold the right stretch for 10 seconds. And again, we're just gonna do it for a few seconds as you can see on that top illustration. And now let's turn to the opposite side. Remember, you're not going past range of motion, just enough to you feel that tension. Now gently tilt your head forward to stretch the back of your neck. I'm gonna hold for just a few seconds. And if you see that second illustration, we're going to put our, you know, put your chin down. You should feel a nice stretch. You don't have to touch your chin to your chest, just the point and bring it up. And then we'll go one more. Now let's do some shoulder shrugs. Again, this is another one of those muscle groups that tend to be very tense, particularly from the waist up, goes from our back to our traps, to our shoulders, to our neck. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. So let's raise both shoulders at once toward our ears till we feel a slight tension in the neck and shoulders. The feeling of tension should be held for just a few seconds and then relax your shoulders down into the normal position again. And let's bring them up one more time, just enough till we feel that stretch in the back and then drop them. Now interlace your fingers in the second illustration below, and then we're gonna straighten our arms out in front of us. So our palms should be facing away when we do this stretch. So you should feel the stretch in your arms through your upper part of your shoulder blades. Let's hold for just a few seconds, and then relax, just drop your arms a little bit, and let's go one more. Interlock those fingers, push them away. All right, now this stretch here, as you can see, we're gonna, Clasp our hands together, and then we're going to turn our palms up above our head and straighten our arms, similar to what we just did. Thinking of elongating your arms as you feel a stretch through your arms. So you should feel the stretch in your rib cage if you're reaching up to the ceiling. And relax. And let's go one more. Interlock those fingers, push up to the sky, take a deep breath in. You should feel your rib cage expand. And relax. Now, how about a good stretch for the hips? Lower back and middle back as well, but predominantly the hips. So I want you to sit with your left leg bent over your right leg. And I want you to rest your elbow or your forearm of your right arm on the outside of the upper thigh of the left leg. And what you're going to do is you're gently going to apply some controlled pressure toward the right leg with the elbow or your forearm. So when you do this, 
you should look over your left shoulder and you should get a nice stretch. And now let's switch sides. So now you're going to put the opposite knee. So now you're going to put your right knee on your left leg. And then using your left arm, you're going to push that knee away just a little bit. Remember, just to the point of tension. And now this one here, looking by the illustration, this is a hamstring stretch. So what I want you to do while you're sitting down, I want you to hug one knee at a time. So I want you to pull to whichever side you want to do. Let's start with the left. You're going to pull your knee up just a little bit. And you're going to hold for just a few seconds. And relax. And let's do that on the opposite side now. Take the right knee towards you. Pull back just a little bit. Let's finish up with some ankle rotations. You can do this one, one at a time or two at a time. Let's start with the left. We're going to point your left toes up to the sky, to the ceiling. And you're just going to rotate three times clockwise. You may even feel your ankles crack. And then you're going to rotate the opposite and do counterclockwise. And then let's switch sides. So we got the right leg out, toes pointed up at the ceiling. Let's do three counterclockwise rolls. And then reverse, go the opposite side. So some final tips as I always leave you guys. You know, if you have to, set an alarm or make a reminder throughout the day. This way you remember to stretch daily. You know, take bath. This is a great opportunity to do, you know, when you take bathroom breaks, fill up water. Um, even if it's for just one or two minutes several times a day, it can help relieve unwanted tension, give your eyes a break from the screen. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of uh, apps that you can use. They're probably all, you know, a lot of, lot of repetitive, you know, but I, I have a hand. United has a handout. I may have gave it to you guys last time we uploaded it with the stretching, uh, the stretching presentation. It's just you know, a simple five minute present or a simple five minute routine that you can do at your desk. Um, you know, remember that stretching incorrectly can actually cause more harm than good. So you always want to understand proper technique in order to prevent injury. You know, if you need to, you can talk to me or, or talk to your doctor about the most appropriate way to stretch. If you have any health concerns, if you have any aggravating injuries. Probably hold off because you don't want to aggravate anything else. In summary, so let's wrap this up. Sitting up, good posture is key. You know, stretching, as we said, you know, it strengthens your muscles, encourages proper alignment. You know, your body posture will be less slouched and more vertical. And that brings me to if you attended a couple presentations ago, we did the desk ergonomics. Excellent one. A lot of pain and stiffness can be alleviated just by just by having having proper ergonomics at your desk. A lot of people sit improperly. Their desk isn't adjusted and, and that can lead to unwanted, you know, tightness in, you know, your neck, your shoulders, your back. So we always want to try to prevent that. You know, good stretching allows for increased blood flow and nutrients throughout the body. You know, not only are you going to feel refreshed, you know, but your energy levels, you may even find over time, you know, increases just due to that increased circulation. You know, as blood flow refreshes throughout your body, you know, a common effect is you just feel more calmer, more peaceful, you know, staying active, doing daily stretches. You know, as I said, it can increase your circulation. It can reduce health complications. You know, and as we age, our body goes through a lot of physiological changes, hormonal changes. So having regular stretching, you know, can help improve flexibility. And some studies even show it, it can increase long longevity and boost over quality of life, you know, and. And like we said, you know, stretching should never be painful, you know, but if you do feel a sharp pain while stretching, it's possible that, you know, maybe you, you know, uncovered a pre-existing injury or you just, you know, simply pushed yourself too far. And, and as always, you know, remember to, you know, breathe, go slow and, you know, allow the oxygen to fill your muscles. Any questions? You feel free to type them in the box. I'm checking the, um, uh, the the chat area, but we've got a small group today. So if you want to just unmute yourself and ask a question, go right ahead. You know, while you guys are fielding questions, I'll also remember we got the post survey, the QR code. So go, you know, make sure you don't forget to complete that. And then any suggestions that you have for future presentations, 
you know, we have an array of, of topics that we can cover. You know, if any spark your interest, you know, don't hesitate to, to let us know. Let me know. I actually have a question for you because you brought it up and it hit me. I was like, oh, that's, yeah, this is something that I've always noticed, but I never really brought up to my doctor that uh, you were talking about ankles crank, uh, cracking. Like, you know, oh, you yeah. might be able to, is that normal? Because my, <laughs> my ankles crack like all the time. So it is, is that, normal. I was when I was when I was doing the stretches with you guys. Mine were just yeah. Mine were cracking. Yeah. It's just it gets it. Yeah. It it's common. It's just some people, some people crack. Some people don't. But it's it's not a sign of anything bad. But, okay. Yeah. You can't sneak up on anybody. At least when I'm you know when I'm walking. <laughs> you can always hear my joints crack. Yeah. My family used to always joke about that. Yeah. I was always brought up that you know, like my my mom always said never crack your your knuckles. Um, it's not a good thing. And I know that every once in a while I'll, I'll crack a knuckle and yep. of course I hear my mother's voice. Don't do that. But I, my ankles, I, I, you know, as I walk, I just, you just can't happens. prevent it. Yeah. 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 I've had her, I've had heard that the cracking of the knuckles can, can increase, you know, risk of arthritis in, in that, you know, in your hands. But mm -hmm. yeah, I had a bad habit as a kid, but thankfully I got over it, you know. Got it. Got it. All right. It doesn't look like we have any questions. I'm checking the chat. Uh, Anna has thank you uh, for for the session today. Um, yeah. So if we have no other questions, I think that we can we can close the session. Oh, we. Oh, what here? Oh, Fernando says, do you recommend anything for your site to avoid redness or dryness? For your eyes? Yeah. Yeah, so well, like staring at that screen all day long, I'm sure it can be tough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bes besides taking mindful breaks away from the screen, and I'm just going to uh, uh, my eye doctor, and this came from my eye doctor, so this isn't what I recommend. There's a uh, he actually gave me a sample bottle, which I, it's called uh, Lumify, L U M I F Y. Mm. It's it's about it's uh, anyways. It's just you put one drop and it it gets rid of all the redness in your eyes. Because when I, I went for on. my, I'm sorry. I can hop on too because I actually bought um, blue light glasses, and you can oh, get nice. them on Amazon. Yeah. So um, depending on like the strength you need, there are some that are 100% blue light blocking. The ones I have on right now are 50% blue light blocking. They're clip-ons because I have glasses, mm -hmm. but I've noticed a huge improvement. I highly recommend um, everyone to get blue light blue light blocking glasses. Easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I have heard of that, but I was always I always wondered if they were, you know, if it was just another, you know, to try to get you to pay money. But it's good. Yeah, and, and she, you know what else too? Uh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to say, Sheena, you said fifty percent, and sometimes you can get a hundred percent. How do you come up with uh, the 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 correct percentage? So my sister was the, actually the one who brought me in on this because she's studying for medical school to be a doctor, and it's all um, computer based. And so she went on Amazon. I guess kids in her class were having the same issue. And just go on Amazon and type in blue light blocking glasses. And then the one she bought actually came with a blue light, a mini blue light specter. And when you shine it through the glass, you can actually see that nothing comes out on the surface on the other side of the glass. Oh, and so I've kept her little blue light thing with me. And then I've had a couple of different pairs one was, um, I, I'm a little bit, because I have the clip-ons, it's a little bit harder for me to find um, blue light blocking glasses. But um, I have her little thing, and sure enough, every time I've tried, it's always what it says. So 50%, if I shine the little blue light, um, the little blue light light through it, 50% will be blocked. And then you'll see the 50% that does go through the glasses onto the surface on the other side. Um, oh, that's, so it's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. Um, I absolutely love them. They're supposed to be good for um, dry eye dryness. They're supposed to be good um, for melatonin because blue light in your eyes is supposed to decrease your melatonin for sleep. Um, I've just noticed when I come home from work, I can I can continue reading. Like if I want to read a book, a paper book, I my eyes allow me to have the energy to do that. So nice. I highly recommend, I think I'm like the only one in the office that wears them. I walk around with my like yellow tinted blue light glasses on, but you can get them clear. Um, but yeah, 
I everywhere I go, I'm like blue light blocking glasses, people. <laughs> great, yeah. great tip then, and and especially since you've used them, it's not like you're saying this. Uh, oh, a friend of mine, it helped them. You're saying it it helps you, which is awesome. Yeah, if I if I put my camera on right now, they'd be on. They're clipped oh. on. They're on all of my oh. like my performance evaluations and everything. I'm there with like yellow tinted blue light glasses. Hello. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Yeah, I know they have those uh, tinted screens that you can uh, tinted covers you can put on your screen to help with with you know, minimizing some of the light. Yeah. Anything is recommended. Anything you can get. I mean, it's we're staring at this thing for eight hours a day, well, like pretty much like some, right. It's right in our face. It's so yeah. unhealthy for us. So anything you, know, you can get is good. Yeah, even the phones too. I'm sure that's going to add add up to it. You know, over mm -hmm. time. A lot of screen time so other than that thanks again and i hope everybody is safe and enjoys uh, their labor day weekend thank you joe you too i um thank you for all this information i think it was really really helpful and yeah have a great long weekend and we'll see you soon all right take care all right bye guys thank have you. a good one